Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Game of Peons. Oh, that feels good. Feels good saying that. For all this time we've gotten so far in this series, and I say so far, as in we've gotten so far because of the pacing that I have foretold upon us. I like to build things. I like to prepare. I like to get my houses ready, get all this stuff done before I actually build the proper good stuff. And that's what we're doing right now. We're getting to the good stuff. If we go down here to our lab, like we did in the previous episode, we've actually put it to use and created a mass machine of utter power and mayhem, the likes of which this world has never come folded upon itself. Moogity boogity. Finding words that others will not learn. Look at this thing. Look at this machine that simply macerates materials, creating two times the amount, and then forging them in these electrical furnaces, which then takes them to the chest upstairs, being the materials chest. Now, what I did uh, after last episode is I went and mined some stuff, got some new stuff, and I picked the diggers ones, actually got some stuff in it. It's probably loads of dirt and gravel. Yeah, I did go out and get that, some of that as well. But as you can see, oh, got some amber from it, nice. Uh, <laughs> I've completely forgot I got some amber. But yes, yeah, so as you can see, I picked up some random materials here that I just found lying around. But mostly, I did it to find coal. Why did I do it to find coal? So we can power the generator. There we go. Get some delicious, delicious power, which will be sucked right into the bat box, which will then power all this stuff up, as you can see right here. And it looks like it's in constant use. I believe it's probably powering up. Ah, yes, as you can see here. Powering up the electrical furnaces, and it's also powering these up by the looks of it. It's not doing. Oh, and it's because it's because it means it's because it's been done. Actually, is that copper? It is. We can put the copper in here. Actually, do we have? Is this iron? This is silver. Okay, so I don't think I picked up any silver. Oh no, I've got a silver ingot. Um, I don't know why I have a silver ring. Actually, I got some of this monzit stuff, which I have no idea what it does. Although I did, I do believe I found out what it did previously, but. I, I just completely forgot what it does. Oh, spooky noise. Now, the reason for this existing is so that we can pump all of this stuff. You know, it's all automated. That's the only reason why this all exists. The macerators will be pumped out. Uh, the materials of the macerators will be pumped out, taken into these electrical furnaces, where the electrical furnaces will do their job, turn them into ingots, and then they'll be stake taken straight up to high heaven. Unfortunately, it seems to be going back on itself, which is uh, not very good. Not very good at all, I like to think. Perhaps some iron ingots is... Uh, not some iron ingots, some iron tubes. Let's take this off. We need an iron tube. That's probably a good idea. Uh, so let's get some glass and some iron bars. Make an iron tube, because the iron tube is one way. We will uh, need a wrench to do that. And I believe the wrench here, actually, this grey one, will be uh, good enough. Let's get some glass. Let's get some iron. I believe it's iron bars that are required. Where are the, where's the iron? I've got some reinforced iron. That's a thing, but I can't find the actual iron. Let's see if we can find the iron. 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 Ah, there we go. <laughs> My blindness, it is um, constantly changing. Do we have anything in here that can be macerated? We do have gold that can be macerated. We could do that once we've done most of the materials. Let's go make this iron bar, um, tube even. I believe it's this. Um, maybe it's the other way around. Yes, it is. Okay, then. We've got eight of them, so we really do not need to make any more of these since we don't use one-way tubes very often. But for this case, we will have to because two tubes are connecting to each other. So there's the one chance that they will actually go back on each other. Now, to do that, we're just going to have to take this one out here and put it there. Now we can use this wrench, or they believe it's this wrench, and change its location. Yes, so it should go up there and not pass through them. Okay, brilliant. We've solved that issue very quickly, actually. Much quicker than we have in the past. And it, it shows that I'm getting used to this system, as we see here. It should just go straight up, because it's the only way that it's allowing it to go. There we go. Fantastic. Looks cool, actually. It looks like it's meshing the materials together. Like that kind of thing. Turning it into some really awesome fady material that changes color every now and again. It's pretty fantastic, I like to think. But they're both going to the same chest, which means they're connected to the same tube anyway. It doesn't really matter. We don't have to separate them. That's the thing. If we did, it would be too messy. It's messy enough as it is. Now, the only issue with this whole thing is that redstone engines do have a heating point, and they will explode at some point. Now, I'm not too sure as to the radius of their explosion. I don't think it's big enough to destroy most of this, but it will destroy this area and leave the bat box and the engine power. We don't want to do too much of this, actually. Because oh, we're using up a ton of coal. We definitely need to get a better power source. And as you can see outside, is it getting dark or is it getting light? I'm not really too sure. I think it's nice and sunny outside. So what we should do after I take a breath. <gasps> after I take a breath, yeah. Is get this, uh, the crystallizer to work. Now the reason we want the crystallizer to work is so we can get slime balls. Oh yes, we need slime balls so we can make the really awesome looking 
doors. We want we want doors so that when we go on a pressure plate, an obsidian pressure plate, so that no creatures can go on it. That's what the obsidian pressure plate does. Only players can go on the pressure plate, and it will only open when a player goes on it. I said that in like five different ways. Uh, yeah, and when you go on that plate, the door will open in a really awesome way, and you'll feel like, yeah, you'll go, yeah, I'm in a lab. I'm going to have two of them, one here, and then one on the other side there. It would probably take quite a lot of redstone work. But the thing is, in order to power the crystallizer, we need a furnace heater, I believe, right next to it. I'm not too sure how it really works properly, but we need a lot of lead in order to make these coils. Now we need clay, and we need uh, eight lead for each of these, and we need six of them. Okay, so that's quite a lot of lead. If you do your mathematics, which I do not, I'm really bad at maths, it's pretty much eight times six, which is brilliant. I don't know how to do that, though, because my brain is crap. Um, but yeah, so I'm basically just going to get 64, and that should be good enough, uh, at least I feel like it's going to be enough. But anyway, we need ingots as well. We can get two of them because we need a bunch of them to make that. We do have a bunch of them over here, in fact. We've got 19, which is not going to be enough, but we can use two of those. And in fact, we can use two of those to make uh, three coils. No, two coils from being done. Uh, so let's see, let's just put all of this stuff. Let's get rid of the furnace bit here. Let's just store everything that we don't need. We don't really need to hold on to this lead, but we can make those coils, actually. Uh, let's put this in there, that in there. These tubes, should, I should have really popped into the chest downstairs where the lab is, but I'll go do that later on. Uh, the same with the wrench, actually, because the wrench is used to change tubes, so there's not really much point of keeping it in equipment. Uh, what else do we need to put away? Uh, we have a bunch of stuff in the diggers that we don't need to keep a hold of. Let's just put that in the, uh, the blocks. Cobblestone, furnace, dirt, cobblestone. The cobblestone does go in there. And I believe that is about it. Now, we do need to get some clay, because there is a clay block that goes in the middle. We will need six of these clay blocks. Four of those makes one clay block, at least I... I recall that, anyway. Uh, like this. Yep, makes one clay block. So we're going to need a bunch of more clay from the area that we previously mined clay. But it looks like it's getting dark outside, so we probably want to go to bed first. Oh, this is brilliant. I love this kitchen. It's the best thing I've done. I've never made a kitchen before, and it's not actually getting that dark outside. Ah, there we go. I just needed to wait a couple more seconds. Ah, delicious. Delicious, delicious, delicious. Okay. What are we doing? We got some clay. We got some lead. We're going to have to go out and go find some more lead. I'm not too sure if you find it from drops or something like that, or it's actually mined. I believe it is mined, though. And um, we'll have a second one of those, so we can only have to make four. So we only have to make four. Fantastic. <sighs> Excuse me. This is absolutely brilliant. Let's put that in there. These coils will put down the stairs. The stairs. And actually, we'll take this coal to power the engine downstairs. And I believe this is flint, which means this goes in misc. We're going to use the flint for arrows down the line. We're definitely going to need some of those, especially when we're in the nether and have to get some gas tears for some reason. I'm not too sure why we'll get gas tears, but look at this thing. It's in motion, and actually it's sending all the copper that it's made. There's no more iron by the looks of it, so it's just going to be sending copper at this stage. And actually, let's go put those in there, and let's actually see that in motion. Let's put the... No, we don't need to put the clay in there. We'll go get some more clay uh, during the trip. Put that in there, and I believe that's all we need to put in there. We don't need to put the scaffolding. I like to keep scaffolding with me because it's so useful getting around places. I've got my backups. Let's put the sword there. Let's change all those around. We've got some food with us, which is always good. Probably go to the kitchen and get some more food. This looks good right now. Uh, what I can actually do is, on the project table, I can start making this thing. Uh, I can put them two there. I believe it's one to three, one to three, and then something else. I've already forgotten how to make this thing. Uh, it's nothing in the middle, apparently. Okay, so we just need two lead. Now, I believe there is lead upstairs, actually. If, if I Actually, I think there's two more left. Which would be pretty cool. There should be two more left because it's eight. No, it's three more left. Okay, then. That's pretty cool. There we go, then. So we'll go put that in the project table. Oh, I love the project table so much. It's so much better than the crafting table. Just for that. Oh, look, it looks like they're heating up already, actually. Well, green stage. It's not. It's more like their well powered stage, but, you know, it's getting close to the overheating stage. It doesn't look like it needs it anymore. At least it will need it in three more uh, creations of the copper. I'm having a lot of drink right here. It's very good. L having a lot of drink. That's word. Words are brilliant. Okay, wait for this to be sucked up. Fantastic. Now we don't need it on anymore. 
absolutely awesome. It did all that work for us, rather than us having to send the stuff to the other areas and do a bunch of other stuff. Meanwhile, I've been doing a bunch of other things, which I sh wouldn't have been able to do if I have had to do all this manually. It's fantastic. It shows that it's working. It shows it's worth. Of course, we will make a much better system for this earlier down the line. I'm thinking a system where you can't see most of this stuff, and it's all inside the walls, and it gets all done, and then just thrown into a chest on the other side. Something cool like that. I would like to have a conveyor belt, but I don't think it's in this mod. It is in vaults, however, but I don't think it's in this. Okay, so we need clay, and we need lead. How common is lead? I did have 19 of it, and I'm not too sure if you can macerate lead. Uh, we're going to find out, though, but first, let's get some clay. We need to get four more clay blocks, or at least the equivalent of four more clay blocks. That'll be easy enough, because we get four clay every time we mine a clay block anyway. So, we just need four clay, and I think there is four more down in the area where we previously mined clay, which is always good. Ooh, a lovely little cow. Lots of animals around this area at this time of year. <laughs> at this time of year. Oh, that'd be pretty cool if they had seasons on this little um, mod right here. A seasons is always a discussion that me and Jim would uh, have. And it was going to be a topic on a discussion of Minecraft series they had, but we haven't had any time at all as of late to really get around to doing that. Now, where was the clay? It was somewhere around here. Oh, it looks like there's clay over there anyway, so we don't have to look at the previous area. Just keep looking at the riverbed, and eventually we will find it. I'm not too sure if you do find it in the sea, though. One, two, three, four. Let's take a couple more. You never know when we're going to need more. We will need more, actually, because I'm hoping to make some bricks and make a nice little fireplace in the house eventually. Um, on the upstairs level, but it'll be on the downstairs as well, actually, because we put it in the kitchen. It could be like some sort of oven. That'd be pretty neat. Put some furnaces behind it for a neat, like, little effect. I think that'd be pretty neat. So where do we need to go to get lead? I suppose we just need to go mining and just hope we find some. That's pretty much all we could do. We could look for, grab some coal in the meantime as well, actually. During that, I don't think it's a good idea to use this diamond pick. Because I could be using it for better stuff. I should have really gotten a few more rubies, ruby picks, or perhaps another diamond one. Then again, I don't think I have enough diamond on me at this time. So maybe it can also join up to be another diamond hunt. That can always be a good idea. Uh, I know mining is usually something that we've done a lot of during the series. Which is why I cut it out in the previous episode of doing a bunch of it. But it looks like we're thrown back into mining anyway. But it is Minecraft, and I did feel kind of shitty for just doing it without recording. I don't know why. It didn't really matter. Um, it was just content that some people might have... Um, been okay to see, whilst I have random ramblings of uh, topics of the imagination, even though the topics are Minecraft related, which is good. It's a good thing. Keep the topics on topic. Ugh! Okay. <laughs> I thought I made uh, a critical error right there by jump. Oh, some amber over there. Looks really nice with this texture pack. I swear it didn't look like that. In fact, that can't be amber. I swear it looked like a giant nugget. Or was it? Is that default? That is default. Yeah. Is this amber? It is amber. Okay, I think what I've done is I've got the uh, texture mixed up with the actual block texture. That's what I've done. Looks like there's an egg down there. Maybe a chicken drown. No, chickens don't drown. As you can see, they just flap for dear life. They don't really drown at all. What is that up there? Oh, is that a sheep? Okay, it's a bunch of sheep. It looked really weird then. It looked like a giant skeleton head. I was really scared. And I don't think I've been this far in this direction. Oh, hello! Oh, we have found us a beautiful, beautiful cave for the minerals right here. Ooh, if only I had a jetpack right now. Definitely, a jetpack is going to be the next order of business once we get these uh, doors in. Oh, I can mine this stuff up very easily. What is this, anyway? Basalt, I would think. Nope. Yep, basalt, yeah. Like volcanoes. Okay. Let's go down here. We're going to take a little bit... Nope. Oh. Didn't take any damage, actually. Okay, then. That's quite odd. So, let's see. We've got some more amber up there. Some copper. Is that uranium? I'm not too sure. Damn it. I didn't bring any cobblestone. That's a critical error on my part. Going to get this copper. This is marble, by the looks of it, right around us right here. We've got enough of that. Um, but we're just going to mine it out so we can actually take this copper. I believe it's copper. What I need to do, actually, is keep this area open so that I can just go in and out. And actually, it's iron. Okay, then. 
We could use some more iron. Definitely use some more iron. Let's go in here and just take out this cobblestone. And um, we'll probably want to keep this on the side as well. It's an annoying thing about these pouches is that you have to constantly go in and out, in and out, in and out. Until you uh, get what you want. Uh, get the cobblestone right here. Let's be careful. Is that redstone down there? Right there. I believe... Oh, crap. Ooh, it's only a bat. It's only a bat. It's very fine. And it might be some lead down there as well. Hopefully we can macerate lead. I'm not too sure if we can, though. But, yeah, I'm just, I'm just hoping we can. Because then we can make two times as much. We won't have to be down here for too long. That's a very big crystal. I'm not too sure if the size of the crystal actually depends on the quantity of crystals they actually get. Um, I got two, I believe. Let's find out. I got six. Okay, and it does actually depend on the beautifulness of the crystal. Well, the beautifulness, how much quartz it's got. Uh, okay, let's get rid of this. Or we could... Uh, oh, no, I, I shouldn't... What the... This is a really bloody heavy current. Really trying to get up that. Okay, there we go. Could we deter it? In that direction, please. Yes. Fantastic. That's what I was man planning to do all along. Using them a brand. Using the environment to your advantage. It's a good thing in Minecraft. You feel smart for doing it. Now I can actually go around here and see what's up. And it looks like another cave attachment. That's brilliant. Hopefully we'll find us some lovely little minerals. This place looks like it's just stonk full of minerals, actually. We need to find another way around, however. It looks like... The water's simply generated some simple way around for us. We'll just have to do a little bit of minor terraforming, yeah, terraforming in order to actually get there. There we go. Absolutely fantastic. Find lots of iron as well. So we'll go down in that area in a little bit. It looks like we're actually right underneath the volcano, which... Is that good or bad for you? <laughs> I feel like it's going to start erupting anytime soon. I do believe in Tech It, when you're near a volcano, it makes these funny noises, but it this... Feed the Beast doesn't come with the sound mod that Tekkit does have on it, so. Which is unfortunate, to be honest, because I quite like the ambient noises that's created on Tekkit. But oh well. We could always make our own ambient noises. That's, that's like a whale. Oh crap! Oh, one of those green fellas. Ah, what a noob. <laughs> okay, and that's pretty good. You mind so quickly with this pick, but just don't like using it. Ah, uh, what's this stuff? Is this lead? I don't think it is. No, it's aluminium, damn it. Lead's a little bit more... a little smaller. Uh, well, the block's the same size, but it's got smaller models on the block. Take that guy out, keep my eye behind us. Is that the aluminium once again? That is tin. Tin's always good to have, actually. We should take that. Let's try not to mine as much. I don't want to waste this pick. What's that down there? Some quartz. Fantastic. No quartz. Oh, it is quartz. Okay. <laughs> All right then. Let's not go against what I say once again. I mumbled up then. Burger, burger. Ooh, what's this over here? Okay, I thought it was cobblestone then. Damn. I'm really hoping to find another creature spawner because then we can get some really nice stuff. What is this stuff? Is this once again tin or something like that? And I dug down then, got kind of scared. And what's this really weird red stuff? Find lots of neat materials, but we have to go in and out, in and out, in and out. Uh, cinnabar. Ah, oh, okay, and we sat, we found that kind of stuff before. Once again, though, not what we're looking for. Just keep looking around, mine whatever we see. This is a green version of that um, cinnabar stuff. Uranium. Okay, I probably shouldn't have that in my pocket. Actually, it's not in my pocket. It's in my bag, so I probably don't want to put my hand in there unless I have a nice little rubber glove on. Ah, delicious, delicious, delicious. Once, apologies for the random drinking. I am a human being. I require drink. I have first, do I not? Some people are like, why are you drinking? <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> what am I think? Oh, okay, this is th probably where the lava is actually going down to the bottom of the, l the um, volcano. So I probably should watch out there. What is this stuff? Appetite? Yeah, it is appetite. Wait, is that appetite? I got like a little thing then. Sapphire. Ooh, interesting. Okay, we don't find very much sapphire. Ooh. Actually, I think I know what this stuff is. 